Ironwood Games. This is Andrew, and welcome back to our Premier Draft Kaladesh Remastered. Uh, if you didn't check out our draft video, uh, you can go see that now. We built a, a black green, um, kind of mid rangey, I don't know, dirtle around deck, um, and hope we can outlast our opponent. Um, it's kind of a common theme, I think, with decks that I build of an approach I really like. Um, on that, but here we go. We're gonna jump into game one here and see what we get. So a little bit ago, before we did the draft, my power went out and I lost the internet for a while. So hopefully that doesn't happen. We made it through the draft portion without losing the internet. Um, so hopefully, I really don't love this um, because we've got Ovia Pashiri on turn one. But we can start pumping out like on turn three. So I'm going to keep it. Um, because I'm not going to play Ovia on turn one. Because if we get a two drop, that's. But I don't want her to die. She is um, really good for the long game in this deck. And I don't know what my opponent's playing right now. Um, maybe some ramp. So I'm going to put out the Swamp because Daring Demolition at 2 black wants to get there. I'm going to play Avia on turn 2 um, because on turn 3 I can tap her and pay 3 uh, to create the 1-1. One, one, which means on turn 4 I can crew up the Dragster and Smash. Smash good. We could also play the Alley Strangler, but I think... Getting that, um, we can do that at instant speed. We're not going to go in against the 2 2 because that's just silly. Uh, so, barring any unforeseen circumstances, that's the plan. Force our opponent to either take six or jump with something on that. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um,. Prevent all combat that we dealt two players this turn? That doesn't make any sense. Why you did that? Um, yeah, we're just going to create our servo. Um, we don't take the damage, so maybe a misclick. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, the Blooming Marsh is a little late, so it can't come in untapped. Uh, so we don't want it. However, what we do want is Opal Chase Dragster. Um, do it with this guy. Go to combat. Next. All attack. No, we're not attacking with Ovia. So we do need to be... Ovia is one of those cards that we have to be very careful not to accidentally attack. Or do a thing. Unfortunately for our opponent, that commencement of festivities would have been great um, on my turn in response to uh, what I've got. So, yeah, Pima Outrider's good. That is definitely a target for removal here. Um, sorcery speed, but what we might do... Yeah, you want to attack with everybody. Um, there's these. Both of these are worth removing. Getting rid of the energy means this is less good. Um, pass to blockers. My opponent's out of mana, so they can't have a trick here. I'd be worried about um, courage, ornamental courage, or something here. Um, but this will just trade. We'll take the five. That's fine. Um, playing Pima main phase was bad. Uh, but with the commencement, my opponent either is somewhat new um, or unseasoned. I do want to play the untapped land because I'd like to be able to hunt the weak and ornamental courage. Um, the problem with fight is that my 
dragster will die. Um, if I fight anything other than like the 1 3. Daring Demolition would kill uh, the thing. We can leave it up as a blocker. And then we have Ornamental Courage. Well. No, so let's do that. Let's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what we're going to do. We're going to crew it. Because uh, I want the counter on it. Um. Fight that, and then if my opponent wants next two attackers, we'll attack with this one. Um, yeah, if my opponent wants to trade for the Pima Outrider, I'm fine with that at this point. They'll still take three damage. I get it off. The board. Um, and then we've got Ornamental Courage. For a surprise, uh, I don't think we're going to use it this turn. Um, if they hadn't blocked, though, then we could Ornamental Courage the uh, vehicle off crewing off with the Via. Put that and block the Pima or the Thriving. Yeah, yeah Fortuitous Find is good. Get back uh, your Pima Outrider. Perfect. don't have the mana to pay. I can't block effectively and kill anything, so we're just going to take the five new blocks. Because at this point, we do get to attack for two. Um, we want, we do get to make a... of creatures you control, so we do get to make a two-two. Um, Wild Wanderer is interesting. I think I'd rather make the 2-2. Even though the flying is definitely going to be a problem. So we could Wild Wanderer basically and put on Belfield tapped. This is interesting. I think it is better to yeah, go search for forest. Um, just lets us do things. We still have the Ornamental Courage up. Um, and now we will attack with everything. You have one black open. We can't, they can't ornamental courage us. Again, we need to protect Via um, as much as possible. Our opponent is short on lands. Thriving Rhino is good. Another Thriving Rhino. Very, very good. Um, if they pay into this rhino, we can't block it with an ornamental courage off the wild wanderer. If they save it for their second rhino, though, uh, then we can. Um, okay, they're just gonna go for the air attack. Uh, I think we might have to kill next turn. Might be. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need five there. Uh, to do that. Um, yeah, I think we just kill this guy right now. Reduce the pressure off of the board, because we can still make yeah, a servo. I can chump if I want to. Um, no attacks, because I can make the second servo. I get Ornamental Courage and make the servo. Pima Outrider is fine. Yeah. Again, as it stands, Ornamental Courage lets us kill any of his creatures outside of a Thriving Rhino that gets pumped again. Um, yeah, resolve that. Here we go. All right, resolve that. I am happy. Uh, first of all, do I? Yeah, let's pass the blockers. Let's ch chump one. Try and eat the other two blockers. 
Ornamental bridge here. Pass to Dan. Cool. Make a new servo. Okay, so we're looking pretty good here. Um, plus one, plus one counter. Yeah, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna put the counter on Wild Wanderer. And I don't want an Alley Strangler, um, even though it seems good, because I want to be able to create the 4-4. Uh, four, four. Um... So they are playing black. They can have removal. They have hunt the weak. They have access to like hunt the weak and other things. Um, but yeah, no attacks. Um, ornamental courage just gives them too much. I think the plan is uh, we we stick with the usual plan of draw better than them, have a better board presence, and let them um, you know, if they draw the removal that's fine each card for each creature you control with the plus one plus that's good, Armorcraft Judge is a really good card, they're going to get to draw two um, so playing this pre-combat was is fine because unless they're not going to attack I'm going to try and eat one of these guys I'm probably going to try and eat both of them, to be honest. I don't think they see my Ovia, um, or they are aware of it, maybe. They may, they may. I don't know. Um, but they do see this, and so this is where, now I will show you guys the power of Ovia, of why we love Ovia, um, it's because late game, oh baby. Okay, we are going to play the Owie Strangler because we still have enough Ovia mana. Um, because we have the Ovia mana, I don't want to risk my 4-3 with the counter. Um, my opponent didn't attack. Left one open, so um, Ornamental Courage is still an option, but they didn't want to waste it on an attack. Um, so if they want to burn it now to eat my Construct, that's fine. Because I might, in response, make um, a 6-6. Six, because six. Um, if they try and kill my Construct, otherwise this becomes a 5-5 five, five on their turn. Um, but I'm happy for the trade. I'm happy if they just want to take 4. Because I am close to swinging out for the win. Um, they don't have white for Inspired Charge. I don't think there's a green mass pump. I think I have... This is the only thing with Trample. I think I have enough blockers. Um, ooh, Lost Legacy. Lost Legacy is good. Search your employee, Graveyard Hand Library for... don't think you can exile... Are you choosing yourself? Hunt for specimens. That's not the right... You want Hunt the Weak. Oh, my guy, my guy. Um, as much as it's nice to win, and this is a good win, and we got to showcase Ophia, um, now we will Ophia in response. Since we know you can't get a 6-6. Six, six. Um, it, it, it's unfortunate. I really... Yeah. I really do... Um, what am I trying to say? I really do feel bad... Uh, again, like sometimes uh, when I'm playing an opponent who seems to be uh, either making mistakes or a little bit newer and doesn't have all the, the nuance um, of the game. 
Um, and I know part of that is because I don't play enough to rank up, and I'm in, like, bronze. Um, still. And so I get paired with some, some lower players and that. But it, as much as it's nice to win and good, I, like, it doesn't feel good just um, winning... Being already what I think was in a winning position and then my opponent making bad plays, um, I don't feel good about that. Like it's, I'd like my opponent to to do it. I just I don't want them to be having a bad time. And I hope that they're uh, learning or doing some things um, on it. Which, uh, so now we did get uh, paired up, but this could still be good. So we can attune. We don't have any creatures, which makes this potentially a really bad hand. We don't have a ton of creatures. None of this does anything. We're going to mulligan. Um, because yeah, this is fine. We can keep this. Um, we want to keep these three. I don't... I kind of... Yeah, Seed Sculptor with Ornamental Courage back up to get an Alley Strangler. I should pay attention to who's on the play and who's on the draw more um, on Arena, and I don't. Um, ooh, I do like Scrap Heap Scrounge on turn two. Can't block, but let's get aggressive. Uh, Death Touch is good. Death Touch is very good for our opponent. Can't block, so we're going to attack. I, it sucks, but getting a death toucher off the board is fine. Um, otherwise, they want to try and go wide, um, and that's fine because now we can block. Again, this guy's good. We played seed sculptor, um, scrap trawler. We're going to block here. Um, you know, keeping the menace would be good for Seed Sculpture. Um, return to your hand target artifact card in a graveyard with lesser mana value. So, I think we Seed Sculpture. We put it here on this. We attack, we offer the trade, I think we save it on an Ornamental Courage, get that off the battlefield, we have Hunt the Weak to take out whatever they play next. We're running out of gas, uh, we've played a lot of things, our opponent, ah, okay, Welding Sparks is good. Scrounger. Um, I will attack. Um, and this is why we love Scrap Heap Scrounger. So, this has actually been uh, kind of good. The first game we got to showcase Ophia. Uh, game two, we get to showcase Scrap Heap Scrounger. Um, here. And yeah, our opponent is playing out their board now. We got rid of a lot of their removal and other things. Okay, what does what? Artifact kills that. This is steals one for artifacts. So thinking they're playing artifacts. Um, I kind of just want to kill something. Um, yeah. Target creature you don't control. I think we will. Um, I think we could attack with the Scrounger. It doesn't have Trample. Um, so they'll likely just trade uh, with the Servo, uh, which isn't great. Here I'm going to attack with the Seed Sculptor because they can just block. That's fine. Um, or they could double and I can at least kill the servo. 
uh, to get it off the board, but I think we're going to do that. Um, as long as they only have one powers, uh, we're going to keep attacking with this because then if we do have a combat trick, um, like we already used our Unumental Courage and I don't know what else we have. Subtle Strike or something else. If we do get one, they won't see it coming. Um, that's Okay, you're gonna plus Tezzy. Okay, ooh. This is fun. I see what they're doing now. Yeah. Um, unfortunately. It's not the best use of it, but since they're gonna try and slowly uh, train us, if they wanna do that again, again. Chump, put four through, eat one, do that, or this puts one through. Yeah, they can keep plussing. That's fine. Okay. Because <laughs> ultimately, when we can get one, two, three, four, five, six. At least one more land. We can put this down and then... There we go. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And again, we're going to lose the Seed Sculptor, but we did get to bring Tezzeret down. Um, yeah. Gremlins is good. for one that's fine um it, this is the point where we just need to draw better than our opponent okay target creature you control so that's this one i think we kill the fire river that's ultimately gonna kill us this can't block anyways so now, yeah, we do that. He either throws away the salivating gremlins to keep Tezzeret alive. Um, or loses Tezzeret. Okay, I think we're in a spot here where, yeah, our opponent has to keep just putting down creatures. Um, drawing a land is not the worst for us because we can hold off an attack once. Um, so the challenge of holding off the attack though is that our opponent would then... Yeah, um, next. Have enough artifacts to kill the scrounger. Um, so we have to keep the pressure on here. Um, if they, yay! Let's get rid of Tezzeret. Perfect. <laughs> you think you have won? I would love uh, to trigger the revolt on here, but given the fact that we don't have much and we need a board presence, oh beautiful! Um, that can't be crude because that's only a two. Yeah, no blocks. We'll take two. We'll hit for seven. Yeah, I think we hit for seven while we have that one. Because um, if we draw another land, we can just play that. And then if we don't, we've got the pressure to put them to seven. And then lethal here. Okay, we did draw another land. I think it is. No, we can play this next turn. We put them to two. Both of these creatures are lethal. Between their two cards, they have to be able to clear off both. Cool. All right. We'll take it. Up to bronze three. All right. Um, 250 gems. 
So we're not doing bad. There's a huge... Between two and three wins is when you get the huge jump. Um, getting to three wins is pretty good. Four wins is what I consider break... E well, it is break even as far as I consider. Because packs are worth 200 gems. Um, and it's... Two th is it only 1,000 to get into a premiere? So maybe break even is at a three. And at four wins... Um, well, you're over break even but you get the to at least go infinite break even um and then at four wins you're you're gaining or is it 1500 gems i don't know how much it costs to get into these events um it was 10,000 coins because i used my coins um on that so thank you guys for joining um these first couple of games um like the video if you enjoyed it um if you didn't i guess you can hit the dislike button um but subscribe to the channel um give us any feedback let us know you know plays things we did um we could have done better um it's likely i made some misplays um and still managed to win despite that i love hearing your guys's feedback um i was gonna say i keep forgetting to say against like on those when you're playing against um you know some of those maybe less experienced opponents or some things um, on that, it, you know, kind of some feel bads, but hopefully for them, they're taking an opportunity to learn. Um, and that's one of the reasons I like to make these videos. So even if, you know, you guys can make whatever, you know, comments you want, or even when I do make mistakes or do it, uh, if you can keep in mind, like the idea of like benefiting, uh, growing us together, because even as medium as I am uh, of a player, I think content for newer players or people that can really start to see some of those things. Um, you know, I think if my opponents, you know, in that, especially my, my game one opponent, maybe if they watched the other side of this, um, might have seen some things from their play or get something out of my commentary and could help them improve as well. So, um, that's the goal with these is for us all to improve. So please leave any comments that you think would be, you know, helpful, beneficial for me, for others, uh, for yourself so that we can, uh, improve, grow you know, the game and all have a good time. Uh, with that being said, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks everybody. We'll see you next time.